Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You chillin'? Alright, let's get started. Boy, do I got topics for you today. The first topic we're going to talk about is the Zimmerman trial. I mean, everybody was fired up and still fired up today. Because I see people putting Facebook stuff about they're going to kill George Zimmerman, shoot him in the head, call him hell, talking about he go, hope he going to ride in hell. You know what crazy shit going to happen. But you know what? I'm just watching and I'm just like, whew. I mean, what's going on with these events lately? Because, you know, this was in the state of Florida, right? I'm going to talk about two events in the state of Florida. Because, you know, I think Florida's crazy over there. Now, as for the George Zimmerman trial, he was in trial for shooting Trayvon Martin. He was a 17-year-old kid walking home from a convenience store eating a bad Skittles. I mean, they showed the evidence about uh, how he shot Trayvon Martin. And I was watching TV, and I was watching these whole phone calls, and a neighbor called the police, and she claimed she heard screaming and hollering and stuff. I don't know if it, if it was Zimmerman or Trayvon. I'm not the witness, so I'm not there, so I don't know. But I will say this. If he did kill that kid, he's going to burn in hell. I mean, justice will come for Trayvon. That's just, I mean, Zimmerman won't go to heaven. I mean... The only person who can serve justice is God or the God above the sky. That's God right there. I mean, nobody else can do anything about it but God himself. I mean, do you think he should go free because he killed that, killed that kid and he was found innocent because he was shooting in self-defense? I mean, let me give you another example. There was a, there was a Florida mom named Marissa Alexander. I just watched TV last night. I didn't even know about this until last night. Now she got 20 years for firing a warning shot against her abusive husband. You hear me? She was with her abusive husband. She got abused. I mean, she tried to protect herself. I mean, she tried to get away and then um, out of the blue, her, her, her husband tried to threaten her life. So she got her, went to her car and get her got her gun and then she trying to protect herself I mean what is wrong with that do I need to explain what self-defense is I mean is it just really breaking the law just uh trying to defend yourself and then you go to jail for a long time missing out on your kids birthdays graduations and stuff that's messed up right there this mom just had her baby a few or weeks ago, and then after that, her her husband tried to kill her. I mean, is that hard enough to say? I mean, that's just get me fired up right there. That is not fair to that woman. She got 20 years. I mean, George Zimmerman was white, and then he shot a kid, and they let him go free. But a Florida mom who has two kids just giving birth, has a whole life ahead of her, had a master's degree, and then she goes to prison for 20 years because she's black as... She black? I mean, that is some fucking racist shit right there. I mean, I just read the, uh... article on the internet. I mean, if you're in self-defense, I mean, this shit is created back in Florida in 1999. I, I mean, who in the right mind come up with this dumb bullshit anyway <laughs> now um and the article also said if you're shooting in self defense and if you're black you will be t treated differently from the white folks I mean I'm not trying to be racist here I'm trying to get the facts out I mean I love everybody whether they're black purple green or whatever the color they are I mean, we're all equal, right? I mean, this is not a racist country anymore, goddammit. I mean, are we living in the racial times again? I mean, is Florida acting racist? I mean, I'm sure there are. Because, you know, black folks get more time than uh, just Caucasian people. I mean, something's fucked up with their system right there. I mean, an innocent 
mom gets 20 years and a killer goes out free. That just, that's just make me sick. I mean, if you want to find out for yourself, go in, go type on Google, Marissa Alexander gets 20 years in prison. I mean, and then you'll find the article right there and you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's in Florida, just as the Zimmerman trial. I mean, I bet there are some racist people over at Florida. Because, you know, I don't, just don't understand about it. Because, you know, it just makes me sick or it just traumatized me to think that black folks, I mean, especially if they're doing the right thing, trying to defend themselves, you know, <laughs> that's just pretty fucked up shit right there. I mean, they're not just here to help people or serve justice. I mean, the lawyers and judges are here for the money. They don't care about uh, defending people or giving the people their rights. <coughs> I mean, it's not me just getting frustrated about it. It's just other lawyers or just Caucasian people out there. I mean, they're just signing petitions and... They're just signing petition, hoping that she'll go free. But, you know, I don't know about that. I mean, these just uh, racist folks just get on my nerves for real. That's why I don't talk to no racist racist people at all. I mean, if, if those people are racist, I mean, I'm not just going to talk to them. I'm not going to be their friend if they're racist. Because, you know, that's just the way it is. I don't fuck with racist people, right? I don't fuck with racist people at all because they're a bunch of dick suckers and faggots. That's what they are. Just like Paul Jean just got her stuff revoked because she said the N word. They call this, she called us niggers, right? I mean, everybody got upset with it. I mean, the producers cut her. I mean, the food neck were fired her ass for trying to be racist. She said the N word. I mean, of course she apologized. And she hopefully she asked for forgiveness. But that's not the case. She got her merchandise dice pulled from Walmart, Kmart, Sears, JCPenney. I mean, you know what happen, else happens? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen next for Paula Dean. I mean, she better figure this out or she's going to go broke as hell. Well, that's all the topics I got for today. And I hope you take in mind that you type in... Marissa Alexander gets 20 years, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And if you never heard of Paul Dean said the N-word, just look that up too. Go to uh, Paul Dean said the N-word, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it had a big f effect on her right now. So, just keep in mind. But until next time, I'm Jedog. I'm out. Peace.